So this study is people who are eligible to vote but don't vote. The census uses voter age population. This is voter eligible population because not everybody that the census counts is eligible. So these are all adult Americans, all US citizens in the country who don't vote. So the question you're probably thinking about now is why? Why would you do a national poll of people who aren't gonna vote? What's the relevance, what's the significance? And the answer is numbers. In 2008, an historic election, Barack Obama got 80 million votes, John, uh, 70 million votes, and John McCain got 60 million votes. But of the people left, there were 80 million other people who didn't vote in 2008. 10 more million then voted for Barack Obama. Hope and change, African American president, historic election, and yet 80 million people didn't vote who were eligible to vote. And we believe that that number is gonna be higher this time around due to the population increasing and due to disillusionment by young and minority voters. And so we believe the estimate would be 90 to 95 million people not voting. What were the demographics? 48 male, 52 female. It's very similar to what you see in a likely voter poll. Here's a, it, an important finding. 30% Democrat, 14% Republican, 17% unenrolled, 9% other party or refused, 31% not registered. Now you may look at that and say, well that's skewed Democrat. There are two to one, there's a two to one ratio and, and uh, in most likely voter polls there's a difference of about seven to nine percent more registered Democrats nationally than registered Republicans. But what this is picking up is that for every registered Republican not voting in November, there's two Democrats. So it's a reverse problem for Barack Obama. We'll, we'll talk about that a little further. And you look at the age demographics in this survey, more people are young than old and it skewed less white and more minority. In addition to that, 19% by the way reported themselves as being unemployed. And that's over double the national um, uh, unemployment rate. Do you feel the country is headed in the right direction or the wrong track? Most people said wrong track of this group, except Democrats. Democrats felt a little bit better about the country, 45% yes, uh, felt right track, 42% wrong track. Is the recession over in Massachusetts, uh, uh, in the United States? 13% said yes, and 78% said no. And look at the demographics. Men, women, Democrat, Republican, other party, not registered, all very consistent. So across the board in this group, people do not believe, unlike what the Commerce Department reported in 2009, that the recession is over. And this was the question the media was all over and, and unfortunately it wasn't the focus of the survey but this is really all they cared about. For unregistered respondents, the pie chart on the left. If you were to vote, if the general election were held today, who would you vote for or toward whom would you lean at this time? 43% of this group said Barack Obama. Only 14% said Mitt Romney. A third party got 23%. We'll talk a little bit about that in a, in a minute. And 20% were undecided. These are people who most of them, two thirds of them, voted in 2008, many of whom voted for Barack Obama. They're not voting in November. They're sitting the election out. Why? They're disillusioned. They're disillusioned. They think politics is a bunch of empty promises. They came in voting for Barack Obama and they're telling us that they're absolutely not going to vote um, in most cases. That's the unregistered voter pool. And the registered voter pool, that is the people in this survey who were registered, Democrat, Republican, or un unenrolled, um, you had a similar finding. 43% would vote for Barack Obama, 20% for Mitt Romney, 18% a third party candidate, and 19% undecided. And when I started to go through the cross tabs in this one question, it all kind of hit me as to why Barack Obama said in April or May that he was going to take money away from television advertising, quote, persuasion, and put it into 
getting people to, to the polls, identifying people and bringing them to the polls. And I remember thinking, why would you not, why would you take money away from TV? Persuasion's everything in presidential elections. Um, and it was this study that convinced me that they know, the Obama campaign, that the likely voter pools, the people who are likely voters, he's not getting a majority of those voters. He's getting less than half. If you look at job approval or the Barack Obama vote for number, it's around 47%, familiar number. 47% is what his job approval number and his head-to-head -head number is. And what that tells us as researchers is that 53% of the public doesn't approve or won't vote for him. And the rule of thumb in research is that if you're the known quantity, the quote known quantity, um, and you're not getting 50%, you're vulnerable. Now I know from my own polling practice, you can get away with being at 49 or 48, and you can claw your way back to 50. But when you hit that 47, for me the 47 number isn't what Mitt Romney was talking about a few days ago. For me, that's the break-even number on job performance and head-to-head. -head. And I think what the Obama campaign looked at is they looked at the pie of likely voters, and they said, we are only at 47. Sometimes we do an ad campaign, we can get up to 48.1, and then it drops back down to 47. So their, their strategy is, let's take a slice of this pie, the people who are unlikely to vote, who would vote for Barack Obama, let's cut a slice of that from the unlikely voter pie, and let's bring it into the likely voter pie. And what I've said is, this, this is a treasure trove of voters for Barack Obama. The problem is, he doesn't have the key to unlock the treasure trove. And the reason is, because the economy is so bad, people are so beaten down by the economy, disillusioned, uh, as they've said in many of the other unrelated questions,